Hey everybody, just wanted to make a quick video to explain uh, my experience with the Intel Arc A310. So, uh, I'd seen online some people be able to get five transcodes. The issue is that is with lower bitrate files, ones that are already transcoded. So, um, I'm doing a test here where I have 4K Dolby Vision UHD Blu-ray remuxes. That means it's the full quality of the disc, um, just like sticking the disc in a Blu-ray player. Um, that full quality is playing right now and being transcoded down to 1080p 10 megabit. Now I have tested with the H.264 and H.265 HVAC options in Plex. In both instances, I can only max out at three streams. Four streams will appear to work at first, but it will start to buffer. One video will start to buffer every 15 seconds. So it is not a good experience. So if you need more than four transcodes, don't get the A310. I don't know if the A380 will do better um, because I don't know if it's the encoder limit. Uh, that's what I'm assuming here. And I don't know if they're the same, but um, what I can say is this card, if you just need a couple, uh, you know, three or less streams, then this card will work fine. It's a hundred bucks. The A380 is 120 bucks. Um, the A310, uh, 310 though is a you can get in a single slot card like the one in the picture in the thumbnail uh, that's the one I bought I only had a single slot available put it right in the bottom works great so the reason why we see here is the video processing when there's four streams like right now you can see it's maxed out when there's three streams you'll see it actually stop and dip down and then go back up and it'll stop every about 10 to 15 seconds well that means that it's pretty close to 100 percent uh time wise and uh processing wise so once you put that four stream on it pushes it you know max out 100 percent, and it just cannot keep up so um i would not suggest buying this if you need more than three streams i just want to get this information out there uh and just as a side note too um, Intel is an H.264. Intel actually, the encoder quality is worse than Nvidia or AMD at the same bit rate. So at like say six megabit, um, the, you'll have worse quality than you would with an AMD or Nvidia card. Now, when you switch to AV1 or HVAC, then you actually will get uh, better quality with the Intel card. So it's just one of those downsides. But the good news is uh, most of our devices these days support H.265 HVAC, so you can use that instead and use that option. It is an experimental with Plex, but um, I've not had any issues with it. I've been running it for a while now. So I just wanted to throw that out there, let people know. Um, let me know your experience. If you have an A380, I would like to know uh, how your card handles or maybe um, an A750 or A770 or maybe you got the new B570 or B580, that'd be cool to know too. A little kill, I think, for just transcoding, but um, just another option, just to see how the encoders stack up. So, thanks guys, see you later.